a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you'll wind up in jail, or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. Come on, we gotta go. Now, I know you're willing to do good and bad as it suits you. And maybe that's everyone's right. Maybe it's the right way to be. You seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you seem a touch confused. Confusing? I don't know. But I hope either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent. After all she has done. <laughs> Getting on, Marshal. No. That bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But there's folk in Blackwater. Powerful folk who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? You know, I don't know. Maybe. My lord, look at you. I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive.
God damn you. God damn you. No. God damn you, Teddy Brown. Hello, Mrs. LeClerc. <laughs> Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milk sot? <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. Oh. I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Who put you up to it? <laughs> Who? Lady, that's none of your damn business. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley, 